Eight and a half. Seven and a half. Excuse me. Seven and a half. Are you sure? Yeah, that's seven. I'm looking. It's seven and a half. Yeah, a half inch before eight. It's exactly at seven and a half. Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys can see, I straightened my hair. Um, so yeah, I've gotten a lot of length. My hair is where I predicted it to be. I predicted my hair to be, you see this chest bone? I predicted it to be like with, like in this space right before that lump. And I would say it is there, exactly there. And for January, the next time I trim, I predict it to be under the lump. So by January, I expect it to be about here. But yeah, so I am getting a lot of growth. As you guys just saw, my mom measured my hair and she measured it to be seven and a half inches. So she took about a dusting off. I probably still have the hairs on my back. You probably can't even see them because they're so, they're so like little, like she only dusts my ends or whatever. Because they don't ever really need a whole lot because I started off with a base cut about about um 14 15 months ago so with that base cut i've just been maintaining it for three every three months and i literally only need a dusting literally like you can barely see it, it looks like dust when she trims it so it, it literally looks like dust so yeah my front has grown so much like the front of my hair always has some issues because she's sensitive because whenever i you know my front is the looser is a looser texture so she's more prone to heat damage and just damage in general so she always will like probably stop about here and usually when she stops about here she's thinned out it's never this blunt or thick and i know i can tell like this is going to continue to grow and usually this my hair in the front will stop about here when the rest of my hair is like way longer so it always would be like a u-shape instead of like a blunt box shape haircut or one length haircut i'm just so proud of my hair i'm it's come a long way it's so healthy it's so blunt and I'm just so excited about my growth. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do my infamous 360 for you guys. And I'm gonna compare it to last October. Uh, I was gonna compare it to last month, but I mean, it's like more of an impact, I guess, to compare my hair to last October. So here we go. Show you what it looks like with the front to the front <laughs> and how much it's grown so yeah i'll do another 360 with it like that i guess just to show you a different look perspective because now my hair in the front is like literally like longer like long enough to go behind my shoulders so yeah girl it's officially a lob it's no longer a bob it's a lob so yeah, I'm so excited. So yeah, my hair goals are the same. 20 inches blunt, again, 20 inches on me is about here-ish. It's just like a blunt, all the way even haircut. So expect this to come to about here. Or that's what I, that's like my goal. Um, and I should get there. I should get there in the next two to three years, I would say. Um, I had a five year plan last year. And it turns out I'm gonna get to my plan a lot sooner because my hair's been just retaining length like crazy. I thought I was gonna take, I thought I was gonna get to my 20 inch goal by 2023. Turns out I'm gonna get there in 2022, so a whole year earlier. So that's really nice. I'm so excited because I've only been, I've been predicted to take off about a half inch a month, and I've only needed to dust it. So if I could just maintain my health and my thickness, it'll be all good, and I might be able to get there even sooner. So yeah, this is how it's looking. I'm really excited about my growth. And I'm starting to get my hair, my pure hair look back because I've always had hair to like about, maybe like below my bra strap, a little bit below my bra strap. I'm never this healthy, never this thick. So I'm excited to see what my hair will look like that length this thick. Of course, I'm looking forward to getting to goals I've never reached before, like waist length, pant length i call it pant length and when i say pant length i literally mean like my hair 
touches my pants like this is about 18 inches my waist is here so it's 16 18 and then 20 inches is like hip length comes up my hips so yeah i'm the longest my hair has ever been is probably like here about right under my bra strap i used to be able to grow my hair all this long but it was never this healthy it was always like i mean i used to it was it was decently healthy but it was never blunt it was never thick it was always like start to thin out i hate thin hair thin hair just looks so i don't personally i don't and i don't i really don't like thin hair like i just don't like the way it looks it just looks i just don't like the way it looks i really have i just really love thick paintbrush and hair so i just hope to be able to maintain this thickness as it grows out and i think it will because one of my go-to's is literally protective styles and wash and goes and so yeah like like when i last time i trimmed my hair in july i did protective styles i think i did a wash and go first when i went back curly and then i did protective styles like till august did one wash and go did protective styles all of august and then i did another one in maybe like september-ish and then it wasn't until the last few weeks that i started doing wash and goes a little bit more often but for the most part, I do protective styles, um, and I just mix it up with wash and goes, like, kind of when I feel like it, or when I'm doing my, my wash and go, like, length check, or curly length check, or whatever. So, I don't plan on doing a wash and go for a couple of weeks after I go back curly. I just plan on doing my, like, mini twists, or my, um, braids, where I just put my braids into a little ponytail, and that's been a good protective style. I just like the way it feels when my hair is protected. It makes me feel like... I'm being, it just makes me feel like I'm taking care of my hair. Even though like, I really like wash and goes and I know my hair grows with wash and goes. Just, if I were to just do wash and goes, my hair would grow the same. But, um, I don't know, I just feel like my hair is just so juicy and protected when I have it tucked away. So I alternate. So I just, I'm sorry if I keep touching my hair. It's just that I don't get to see it like this very often. So yeah. So yes, it looks very good. It looks very healthy. I'm so proud of it. and like happy that the front has grown out the way it has and I'm so happy how blunt my hair has maintained like for the last 15 months I really didn't think that my cut would stay the same I thought my hair was gonna like grow in because the hair naturally goes uneven anyways I just thought my hair was gonna eventually just kind of like start to do its own thing you shape itself out do its own thing and it's not doing that like it's staying with shape it's growing evenly and I mean obviously it's not perfect that's why when I get my trim my mom just evens it up but it is perfect enough okay yeah, the next time my trim will be in January probably the first week of January and yeah I expect it to be about let's see let's just measure it out about an inch and a half okay so by January it should be here so yeah, it should be definitely like right under the hump. <laughs> so it'll be like a nice little blunt, blunt armpit length. Yeah, it'll definitely be armpit length. Or from the front, it'll be armpit length. I don't think it'll be armpit length from the back. It might be though. I'm about, two, my hair is seven and a half inches, so I'm about two and a half inches away from armpit length. So it'll probably look like armpit length, but I won't be officially at armpit length for another two and a half inches. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed my progress the way I have because it's been a journey and it's been very fulfilling and I'm so glad that you guys are along to watch me and see how my hair is growing with me. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.